So you guys, this is a little switch right here, right there. The switch right here. Tick that switch. All right, so let's see here how it works. If it's working, it's working, yeah. All right, hallelujah. See the switch right here, guys, see? That switch, see? So I move this switch here from in the back here down below. So when it laid down on the Vangiscute and the bubble, it would bounce and bounce and it would turn it off or on and it would kill my power because I wouldn't know it would be on all day. <laughs> so took that apart. One of the wires from the switch came off anyway. Obviously that's where I wasn't working so burned a hole in it up here and uh, put a switch right there. Done deal. Best place for it anyway. So hallelujah. So I got to put the front end back on it, and uh, and then we'll take it from there. I'm gonna repaint the front screen. So let's see here. I want to get out here to this awesome deal out here. So let's see here. We'll go right about. Gotta have the Vangiscape mission going on here. Okay, let's see here. So I got this got this action. I have to move this over here. Oh man. Boing. So, so bass, all my bass. Treble turned down. Mic volume. Okay, so when you have vo regular volume up and mic volume, then you get that feedback. I think that'd be okay right there. All right, yeah, yesterday I met um, Ruben, a uh, Spanish-speaking uh, preacher. He, he preaches in, in a church and also out on the streets as a street preacher. And uh, he's seen that shirt, that Trust Jesus, came over here and sat down and uh, with his daughter. And, um, and, uh, and we started talking for a long time, and he just moved here to San Clemente and uh, told him, hey, man, <laughs> this is the place to be right here. You want to preach and uh, come out here? You're, you're welcome to come and uh, share the word with us because two million people annually visit here. And uh, so he opened up. He started crying. I could see it. He was crying. And... Uh, because he, 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 he said he felt like the Holy Spirit like three three or four times. He mentioned, you, you know, he's like, man, I feel the Holy Spirit, right? And I go, yeah, yeah, man. Um, but that's good, right? So um, so I prayed for him. And uh, he, had, he, he had something going on inside. He didn't want to talk about it. So I prayed for him, prayed for his work, prayed for his wife and his child. And... Um, uh, hopefully he can come down here and preach with us and be a brother, man. I've been waiting for a new brother or new sister in Christ, man. Really, look, really looking forward to having that that woman, that that woman of Christ, full on. Uh, that uh, that are bringing the word, man. In season and out of season, you know. I want a woman that uh, we could. Um, we can iron sharpens iron. She can teach me, and I can teach her, and uh, learn from each other about our father's business. And um, it's always good to have. So, hallelujah, guys! I started read, uh, reading chapter 13, but it didn't go too far. It's very humid out here today, and um, uh, I went to see if I can get my front tire changed, and he's so busy today on a van to scoot. I got to get me a, a mini tire changer. It's about 100 bucks, So I'm going to go ahead and get one of those, and I'm going to have to make my own um, my own setup for it to, to set up on in that room. So I was thinking maybe if I get a tire, a mid-sized tire on a rim, then I can put it on that. And build it up and then where I can it is stay on the floor and not move around and, and then I could change my tires no problem but um, other than that um, I have been um, 
uh, my back has been uh, bumming me out quite a bit. I've been praying for it, asking for prayers. And um, I sure hate for it to get any worse, uh, to have to go to a doctor and say, oh, you, you need to, you need to. Um, uh, the World Wide Web. Would you like to come over here and listen? No, you don't. See, these these blonde girls, these richy rich chicks with their dogs, uh, you know, with their little, you know, their pretty little hats and their little dress ups, right? Uh, the world is their dog. That's all they care about is their dog. Uh, you know. Uh, they'd rather go out with a dog than a than a real man, <laughs> or or another girl. You know that's that's SoCal for you. A lot of lesbian chicks. It's evil. So hallelujah. I'm going to get into chapter 13. I'm not going to file for chapter 13, uh, but I'm going to read the word in season and out of season. How you doing, Lion? Good. What's up? I was gonna get a picture of you if I could, man. Oh, right on. My uh, my brother is in Toronto. Yeah. And he just sent me a picture of uh, someone like preaching on the street. Ah, <laughs> you gotta match him. You like, gotta match him, huh? Like, no here. Way. So if I can get right trust Jesus in there, right there. Get, get go right over there. Get the shot right here. Go. Okay, yeah, yeah. There I you mean, like. I mean, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Right? Hallelujah. All right, good deal, buddy. <laughs> right? Yeah, man, keep going, bro. Yeah. Keep so, going. so I've been um, I've been coming out here every day. Yeah, for two years. Yeah. Awesome. And I've read i read out of um, the new the New Testament. Yeah, yeah. And and uh, Proverbs and Psalms yeah. and then I just started Job. Nice. And nice. I, go, I go down there. I was reading it out loud. The Lord wants me to read it out loud. Yeah. So I I, I know His word because yeah. we street preach on the weekends. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, yeah. and I can't be saying uh, comply or fry, uh, gonna go to hell, and all that garbage. Yeah, whatever. You know, you know what, what I'm mean? saying? Hey, everyone, so, you know what I mean? Yeah. Do so, what you feel is right, bro. So, I, right? I, yeah, am I disturbing you guys, though, at all? Is it too loud? Or, no, I you're like You're all right? It. I like okay, it. Okay, right on. My okay. name's Andre. Andre, I'm Mark. All right, Mark. Yeah, I wish, awesome. I, could, I, wish I could hear you a little bit better. But well, I can turn it up, too, but yeah. I don't want people to, you know, because they I, do. I don't want to get you in trouble. I can always move over to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this guy's pain job it's got a, the ocean yeah, and it's got right, the yeah we're heading out but you all right you, are you coming back tomorrow i'm here every day bro right, cool. possibly hopefully yeah you too bro so hallelujah christian man he's got a brother christ from somewhere that's doing the same thing i'm doing <laughs> he wanted to wanted to get a picture of me uh to match that shot against him like hey uh, i got this over here and he's go oh yeah i got this over here <laughs> hallelujah you folks love jesus Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. So anyway, um, I'm just afraid, guys. Um, I'm not afraid, afraid, but man, uh, prayers are good. Um, the body is flesh, and it's going to do what it wants to do. And uh, um, dude, man, there's 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 times where it's just like so painful uh, that I just can't get up and go, man. And that's why it, it takes me all day just to come out here. It's already, it's already four o'clock, and I used to come out here at nine or ten o'clock, and then at nine or ten a.m. in the morning, and um, and that's really driving me crazy. But it's that I can't come out here, and and serve the public uh, with a word, and do what I was doing before, and I don't want to slow down. I'm not going to back down, um, and and uh, that's just the way it's going to go. Uh, but I just need prayer, you know. Just give me some prayer. Because uh, prayer works, but uh, hallelujah! I'm going to uh, I customize my my boombox there. Uh, Van just good is doing really good. I uh, thank the Lord every day for my transportation. Uh, you know I, I speak about this because uh, this is my puppy dog, man. You know I got to feed it, <laughs> but it, it, it's also my transportation. It, it gets me to and from, and uh, um, the Lord knows it, it gives me joy. It's not my idol. I don't worship it. I don't think about it all full on. I think about my father's number one. But it, do, it does get me to and from. But uh, I'm, a, I'm a meticulous kind of guy. I like to tear stuff apart. I like to build, rebuild, and fix uh, electronics and 
and motorized gear things together, and that's my hobby. So that's what I'm going to do always. That's just one of the things I like to do uh, because it's um, it keeps me out of trouble because there's a lot of other stuff I could be doing and getting in trouble uh, than, than uh, keeping my mind uh, out of that out of that world out there. So hallelujah, guys. What else? What else? What else? Um, what else? You can see you can see right there. See, there's not hardly anybody, man. On like a like Tuesdays, two two Mondays are okay, but Tuesday uh, it's the best time uh, to come down because there's hardly anybody at all. Anybody. Uh, the only people that are going to be down there is the local surfer guys. And they're, bel they're bobbing around out there like a bunch of seals. There's usually 12 to 15 out there. And then down there on the other end over there. Here comes Kathy. Peace Kathy. She lives just right up here up the street right here uh, with her little dog Ziggy. Uh, she wanted one of the first friends I met down here. Uh, but man, we got to get into we got to get into chapter 13 here. But hallelujah, I'm going to get into it because I know I only got 30 minutes. The guy across the street says it's fine and uh, it's not loud. It doesn't matter if it's loud or not because they want to hear it too. So hallelujah. How you doing, Kat? Uh, trying to get into chapter 13 here of Job. <laughs> two, two days I've been working on it. <laughs> okay, I seem I can't get into it. Every time I get into 13, I can't get into it. Uh, yesterday, this, this guy came through, but uh, Mexican speaks Spanish. Okay. He sat down right here, and another Christian man was sitting right here. And we started talking for a long time. And and, and, and he left, and then Ruben was here with his daughter, key daughter. And he, and he said he, he, he street preaches, and he preaches in in, in churches. And, and he's a preacher guy, he, younger than I. He's probably, uh, if, I don't even think he's in his 40s yet. And, and um uh, he says, uh, and he's new to town, and and I'm going hallelujah, man. So we might have a Spanish speaker, you know. Isn't that awesome? So so I had this big old brand new pack of uh, gummy bears from from this hardware store, and and I go, oh, I know what I got. So I opened it up. I I, I gave him, I gave it to him, and go give it to her. She can have them, right? And, and yeah, because she was just jamming around, went around and stuff. And, and it's like, boom, it's like, yeah, man, jackpot, man. She's like, yeah. Hallelujah, man. Hi, Ziggy. Hello, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. Oh, right, yeah. Out-of-body experiences. Isn't that wild? You know what? Um, um, there, there's people, when they go to, like, to heaven... They, they always look at they see the grass and flowers right yes. and they see and they see like the, the like everything's all dancing and in joy of the god and, and praising god, and it's everything's all life and stuff right so so look at this check this out i seen on 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 facebook somebody put a, a microscopic thing of a of a blade of, of grass and inside it's like you know like an amoeba amoeba it's round it's like weird but on the edges it looks like happy faces there's faces Looks like happy faces. It's like wow. Yeah. 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 It's just so much going on. Yeah. Yeah. It's neat, huh? Yeah. Every different color, full on. Can you imagine, you know, like, you know, like, like we have flowers here and they all smell. They have that smell, aroma. But can you imagine, like, ro flowers is just, it's like, you know how you go in a room and it smells like a, a good smelling, like a, like a cologne or perfume? It, it's, it's probably like that in the whole heaven. Everything just smells so, it's good smelling, right? It's, you know what I'm saying? Because we don't like bad smells. Nobody likes bad smells, right? Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's got to smell good in heaven. That's what I'm saying. It's got a beauty and everything's all brand new, perfect. No dust, no mites, no nada, man, nothing. Zero. Hallelujah, cat. I'm going to see if I can get past 13 for some reason. I just can't. <laughs> I love it. 
So hallelujah, man. See what I'm saying? Chapter 13. What's with chapter 13, guys? That's too bright. <laughs> All right, let's try it again. So yeah, just things are happening. Uh, things are going to happen. Uh, we're, we go. I'm going through a season, and and I'm thinking. I'm thinking like I'm like Joe, because uh, my pains, and 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 not getting up and go, moving around, and I and I can I can know the devil's like, ha ha. See, I told you, Andre ain't going to get out there, and 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 he doesn't want to do this and all this and that, and I know that's what he's trying to do. But you know what? I'm an overcomer, man. Uh, it's just another day in the office to me. You know? Hallelujah. All right, let's try it again. I'll, I'll probably only read a few chapters now. Lo, my nine has seen all this. Let me check out how much time left, guys. Fifteen minutes. Okay, I'm still going to save that. But um, I'll read still, all right? That way you guys can see what it's really like in live. <laughs> Behind the scenes, right? All right, let's try this. All right. Lo, mine eye hath seen all this. Mine ear hath heard and understood it. What ye know, the same do I know now also. I am no inf not inferior unto you. Surely I would speak to the Almighty, and I desire the reason with God. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Oh, that ye would altogether hold your peace, and it should be your wisdom. Hear now my reasoning, and hearken to the pleadings of my lips. Will ye speak wickedly for God, and talk deceitly for him? Will ye accept his person? Will ye contend for God? Is it good that he should search you out? Or is it one man mocketh another, do ye so mock him? He will surely reprove you if he do secretly accept persons. Shall not his excellency make you afraid, and his dread fall upon you? Your, your remembrances are like unto ashes, your bodies to bodies of clay. Hold your peace, let, the, let me alone, that I may speak, and let come on me that will. Therefore do I take my flesh and my teeth, and put my life in mine hand. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him, but I will maintain my own ways before him. He also shall be my salvation, for a hypocrite shall not come before him. Hear diligently my speak, and my declaration with your ears. Behold, now I have ordered my cause, I know that I shall be justified. Who is he that will plead with me? For now, I, if I hold my tongue, I shall give up the ghost. Only do not two things unto me, when will I not hide myself from thee? Withdraw thine hand far from me, and let not thy dread make me afraid. Then call thou, and I will answer, or let me speak, and I will answer thou me. How many are mine iniquities and sins? Make me to know my transgression and my sin. Wherefore hidest thou thy face, and holdeth me from thine enemy? The enemy? Will thou break a leaf driven to and fro, and wilt thou pursue the dry stubble? For thou writest bitter things against me, and maketh me to possess the iniquities of thy youth. Thou puttest thy feet also in the stalks, and looketh narrowly unto my paths. Thou settest a print upon the heels of my feet, and he is a rotten thing, consumeth as a garment that is moth-eaten. Chapter 14. Man that is born a, of a woman of a few days, and full of trouble, he cometh forth like a flower, and is cut down, he fleeteth also as a shadow, and continueth not. And doest thou not open thine eyes upon such an one, and bringest me into judgment with thee, who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Not one. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his moth months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds, that he cannot pass. Turn from him, that he may rest, till he shall accomplish as an hourling his day. For there is hope of a tree, if it be cut down, sprout again, and that the tender branch thereof will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof die in the ground, yet through the scent of water it will bud, and bring forth bows like a plant. But man dieth and wasteth away, yea, man giveth up the ghost, and where is he? 
As the waters fail from the sea, and the flood decayeth and dryeth up, so man lieth down and riseth not, riseth not. Till the heavens be no more, they shall not awake, nor raise out of their sleep. For that wouldest hide me in the grave, that thou, that thou wouldest keep me secret, until thy wrath be past, that thou wouldest appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again, and all thy days by the appointed time will I wait till my change come. Thou shalt call it, and I will answer thee. Thou wilt have a desire to work of thine hands. For now thou numberest my steps, thou doest not watch over my sin. My transgression is sealed up in a bag, and thou sewest up mine iniquity. And surely the mountain falleth cometh to naught, and the rock is removed out of its place. The water where the stones, thou washest away the things which growth out of the dust of the earth, and thou destroyest the hope of man. Thou prevailest forever against him, and he passeth, thou changes his con continence and sendeth him away. His sons come to honor, and he knoweth it not, and they are brought low, but he perceiveth it not of them. But his flesh upon him shall have pain, and his soul within him shall mourn. Then answered Eliphaz the Temanite, and said, Should a wise man utter vain knowledge, and fill his belly with east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk, or with speeches wherewith he can do no good? Yea, thou castest off fear, and restrain prayer before God. For thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. Thine own mouth condemneth thee, and I not. Yea, thine own lips testify against thee. Art thou the first man that was born, or wast thou made before the hills? Hast thou heard the secret of God, and doest thou restrain wisdom to thyself? What knowest thou? We know not. What understandest thou which is not in us? Which us are both the gray-headed and very aged man, much elder than thy father. Are the consolations of God small with thee? Is there any secret thing with thee? Why doeth thine heart carry away thee? And what do thy eyes wink at? That thou turnest thy spirit against God, and lettest such words go out of thy mouth. What is man, and what he should he be clean? And he should be as born of a woman, that he should be righteous. Behold, he putteth no trust in his saints, yea, the heavens are not clean in his sight. How much more abominable and filthy is man, which drinketh iniquity like water. I will show thee, hear me, and that which I have seen I will declare, which wise men have told from their fathers, and have not hid it. Unto whom alone the earth was given, and no stranger passed among them. The wicked man travaileth with pain all his days, and the number of the years is hidden to the oppressor. The wicked man travaileth with all pain. A dreadful sound is in his ears. In prosperity the destroyer shall come upon him. He believeth not that he shall return out of the darkness, and he is waited for of the sword. He wandereth abroad for bread, saying, Where is it? He knoweth that the day of darkness is ready at his hand. Trouble and anguish shall make him afraid. They shall prevail against him as a king ready to the battle. For he stretches out his hand against God and strengthen himself against the Almighty. He runneth upon him, even in his neck, upon the thick bosses of his bucklers, because he covered his face with his fatness and maketh collapse of fat on his flank. Seems like I already read this. And he dwelleth in desolate cities and in the house which no man inhabited, which are ready to become heaps. He shall be rich, neither shall he substance continue, neither prong. It seems like I already read this. Upon the earth he shall not depart out of the darkness. The flame shall dry up his branches, and the breath of his mouth shall he go away. Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. It shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as a vine, and he shall cast off his flower as the olive. For the congregation of the hypocrites shall be desolate, and the fire shall consume the tabernacles of bribery. They conceive mischief and bring forth vanity, and their belly prepareth deceit.
Then Job answered and said, I have heard many such things. Miserable comforters are ye all. Shall vain words have an end? Or what emboldeth thee, thou answereth? I also speak as ye do, and if soul were in my soul's, in, uh, soul's stead, I could heap up words against you, shake mine head at you, but I would strengthen you with my lips, and the moving of my lips should assuage your grief. Though I speak my grief, it is not an assuage, as though I forbear what I am eased. There might be one sitting over there. Got, got, I'm, something's telling me this guy over here is, might be assuaged. But now he hath made me weary. Thou hast made desolate all my company. And thou hast filled me with wrinkles, which is my witness against me. And my leanness rising up in me beareth witness to my face. He had some mockery going on over there. <clears throat> He teareth me up in his wrath, who hateth me. He gnasheth upon me with his teeth. Mine enemy sharpeneth his eyes upon me. They have gaped upon me with their mouth. They have smitten me upon the cheek reproachfully. They have gathered themselves together against me. God had delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder, and he hath also taken me by the neck and shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark his archers compass me round about and cleaveth my reins asunder and doeth not spare he poured out my gall upon the ground he breaketh me with a breach upon breach he runneth upon me like a giant i have sewed sackcloth upon my skin and defiled my horn and it does seems like i already read this my face is foul with the weeping and on my eyelids is a shadow of death not for any injustice in nine hands also my prayer is pure. O earth, cover not thou my blood, and let my cry have no place. Also now behold my witnesses in heaven, and my record is on high. My friends scorn me, but mine eyes peer out tears unto God. O oh, that one might plead for a man with God, as a man pleadeth for his neighbor, when a few years are come, and I shall go the way whence I shall not return. All right, I'm going to stop right there. It's chapter thir uh, 17, because uh, I know I burned 15 minutes at the beginning. It takes 30 minutes. A 30-minute video, guys, takes over two hours to download on YouTube. It takes that long. It really does. So hallelujah. The sun's going to pop out for a little bit. And um, hallelujah. Yeah, kind of bum me out. Uh, my seat post for Evangelist. I ordered a, 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 a aluminum and or metal um, seat post because uh, I have this this really soft. It's called Cloud Nine. It's a seat. It's really soft and it's got little shocky things on it, s springs. And I put it on there with with a um, a carbon fiber post. And uh, you're not supposed to drill into it. And I drilled sideways through the post uh, down below to make it more stronger, to hold it from wiggling. And it worked for a while, and then all of a sudden it just went snap. And I was like, dup, dup, dup. But it, was, it felt so good to sit on that chair. I didn't feel any pain, nothing. It was all perfect. And so now I ordered this aluminum one uh, two weeks ago. And, and, and I told them, well, where is this thing? And I look on tracking. And it hasn't even left their facility yet. And I was like, dude, it did. It's like, uh, either give me my money back, or send me the thing already. And then, it, and, and you can tell the Asians how they write because the words all—it it just doesn't make sense the way they write stuff out. And and um, and I go, just give me my money back already, and I'll take a refund. So that wasted that wasted all that time. I could have got. Um, my seat on there, my post on there, and uh, um, so now I really got to be careful uh, because I, I swapped my front uh, shock to, to the back when the back to the front because the front end was um, it was that collapse man that's a lot of weight in the front and uh, hitting bumps and stuff it just it blew that little shock out there's just a spring inside there I don't know why they're so weak. 
um, but it, um, the swing arm in the back, when it goes it bottoms down, it bottoms down the, the metal plate where the seats, the posts on, there's a plate and this, the motor sets down inside there and the plate comes down and it hits the, it hits the, the um, corner edge of the motor and it's gonna crack the housing and if you don't have things proper, uh, it leads one thing leads to another. That's why I, I'm on it all the time. But that's that's what I like. It's my hobby. It's what I like to do. You just got to stay ahead of it. If you catch it before things um, happen and just not ride it and just keep on letting things fall apart, you ain't gonna have nothing left. But you do. You got to stay on top of it. Just like my little chain adjuster on the back. It was stripping, and I was like, "Why is this? Why is the chain? Because there's so much torque in that motor. A lot. When you give it gas, you got to lean forward." Because if you don't lean forward and you give a gas, you're gonna you're gonna get thrown off. You, you got to lean forward, and so that's a lot of torque. So torque uh, plus uphills. Uh, that's that's a lot of stress. On on even if you tighten up the back um, axle, it's still gonna slowly um, come forward. The chain's gonna pull it right, and so it so you have these little adjusters that are connected to the bolt. Uh, axle and, and there's like a T thing and it holds against the plate and you tighten it up and it brings it back and it holds it holds the chain tight. Uh, but the other one, it's stripped out. Brand new, man. Um, it's stripped out. Uh, so luckily, I brought I bought four of them and I just changed the other side because it's it's on the drive side. It's like a corrugator. When we used to feed the paper in the corrugator, it would shove off to the to the drive side because the torque. And the paper would go, so you'd have to angle the paper in a certain way. And when it started taking off, it would go and it zigzag, and then it catch and it goes straight. Just like when you peel out, you know how a car, how a car takes off and it gets all sideways. That's why. So it's torque. So hallelujah. There's a little baby lizard right by the back tire. A little baby guy like that. He's, he's going to do push-ups in the sunshine, probably. Little blue belly. <laughs> hallelujah, guys. I'm going to let you guys go. Love you. Uh, hallelujah, man. Just get with the Lord. Stay with the Lord. Read your Bibles. And uh, praise the Lord, man. I got sunshine today. Hallelujah. Be blessed, guys. Hope it's not over 30. It's 32.